Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my first YouTube video. Uh, this is a video intended to demonstrate a little project that I've been working on. Uh, anybody who's ever emulated an NES game, this will be a familiar scene. I'm just uh, playing the original Donkey Kong in uh, the emulator FCEUX. But what I've done is I've uh, written a little renderer for it, and I'll turn it on for you. And voila! It's a voxel engine. It's uh, taking every pixel in the game and rendering it in three dimensions. So we can uh, play the game in a completely different perspective, different style. And give the game a little bit of a 3D look that it didn't have originally. Now, while this is running, uh, you can use the mouse to uh, completely control the camera. You can. Uh, Switch to any perspective you like, zoom in, zoom out, um, kind of get the look that you're, you're trying to achieve. Whoa. And uh, it works pretty well. Anybody who's a big fan of uh, Smash Brothers on the Wii will recognize this stage. It's a little hard to. Uh, talk and play at the same time for me, walking and chewing gum. Uh, if you're not seeing a smooth frame rate, uh, it's largely because of the video capturing software, not the uh, emulator itself. Um, the, you know, if you have a good graphics card, this should run 60 frames per second, no problem. Um, it's not really that intense unless it really fills the screen up. Um, so if you're not if you're not seeing smoothness in the video, pardon me. That's just the uh, that's the software capturing. But uh, let's see how this looks in some other games. Um, let's go with the original Super Mario Brothers, and we'll give it give it a heavy focus on uh, looking down the uh, down the road here. Sometimes the effect is better looking than it is easy to play. Uh, it's also not perfect, you know, if, if you stand in front of another object, like the Goomba is doing with that bush, you just sort of blend in with it. There's no depth information. This effect really only works particularly well with games that have very simple backgrounds. Backgrounds that are composed of, you know, single solid colors. Um, if you got a background with more than one color, Gonna have a tough time uh, making it look good. Let's uh, let's try Super Mario Brothers 3. Super Mario Brothers 3 is interesting because um, everything is surrounded by black. You know, everything's outlined. So in the three dimensions, it sort of makes everything look like there's a, a drop shadow in the back. And that's just purely because of the way uh, the graphics are drawn. A lot of black outlines. Now, um, you'll see how this doesn't always uh, work out the best. We're just going to blast through this stage a little bit. And whoa. We'll get to the end here. Now, you see, once I move into the black, um, we're just dealing with a, a large sea of black here. Um, primarily, we, we normally want to use the system color for the background, but uh, I've added an option so that you can select the background color using a particular coordinate. So we're going to choose a coordinate in the upper right corner, and now we're using black, but you'll see this switches back and forth uh, very quickly when I move to another location. Now it's blue, now it's black. So, it's not perfect. Um, your mileage is going to vary depending on the game. Um, let's, uh, let's look at Mega Man, for example. Mega Man does not set the system background color uh, based on what's going on. So, it stays black throughout the entire game. Once we get into the stage select screen, you see it's not blue, it's still black. And we can go to somebody's stage. Stays black. 
so but we can change that um, if we go back to the uh, using the system using a coordinate now we have more of a 3d perspective Iceman is actually not a good example let's go to bomb man <clears throat> again unfortunately this doesn't work well with every game you're going to try um, you have to experiment a little bit find out which uh, which games give you the best effect if you zoomed in a little too close it can be hard to see what's going on there we go so there you have it games that don't work well are games that have uh, top-down views like Final Fantasy um, when you're looking at the map the effect just isn't uh, isn't particularly good let's get going in this pretty quick so here you see it's it's oh wait we're not using the system color just uh, not a great effect here however it is kind of cool when you get into a battle oh there you go a little bit neater looking so you'll have to experiment a little bit to see which games work best and which games don't uh, obviously like I said old school games work particularly well um, you play Galaga from the perspective of the ship but I don't recommend you trying to play this from the perspective of the bugs it gets a little challenging because the bullets now fly off at angles uh, when you're closer to the sides it's just the perspective that you're looking at it from a little bit harder to play this way a little bit harder to figure out where the bullets are supposed to go uh, another game that looks particularly good bubble bottle happen to like this the effect of this a lot Let's zoom in a little bit and there you go there's the 3d effect that's a little exaggerated probably not the best uh, best angle to play it at Metroid's another game that this works particularly well with because of the black background color. You get a, uh, a nice effect. Again, zoomed in a little bit. Cutting off the top a little bit. I'm a little too close, but. Kind of funny seeing the um, the energy meter also rendered in 3D. <laughs> so there you have it. That's uh, pretty much the idea behind it. Let's um let's switch to something. Oh, Gradius 2 looks uh, particularly good like this too, actually. give it a slight angle makes it a little hard to see the uh, the power up meter at the bottom but if you know what you're doing it shouldn't be a problem there you go now uh, you can play with this a little bit we're gonna switch to uh, kind of a classic game here um, 
And let's pause it for a sec. You can play with some of the settings. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate all of them, but you can play with the the size of the voxels, uh, the thickness. If you if you play with the thickness, you're going to increase the depth. Um, sort of makes the maze thicker, but it also makes the dots look like sticks of butter now. So not always uh, not always the best way to go. Let's set that back. I, I just happen to like it at two. Transparency doesn't work too well. Uh, it just tends to make things a lot dimmer. I'm hoping somebody with more experience in OpenGL might be able to help me out with that. Um, you can set some spacing in this. Um, it's almost sort of a way to fake scan lines or uh, just individual dots altogether. Kind of a neat effect. Got to be zoomed in pretty close though to see it. And uh, last but not least, we got a cool little feature here. Um, we have waves. Um, we'll start with vertical. Try playing with that. That uh, that gets a little <laughs> a little challenging after a while. And it's not too bad this way, but. A little tough to stick with. Uh, we can get that going diagonally, and we can um, play with some of the stuff. We can increase the wavelength, decrease the frequency. Actually, if you do do a negative frequency, it goes in reverse, and we can tamp down the amplitude. So it's a little more tolerable. But you can have fun with that and uh, mess around with the different settings. So all in all, this is um pretty much out of the proof of concept phase into the beta. I'm going to get the code uh, up to people so that they can start testing it and uh, trying it out on their systems, making sure it works. At the moment, this is um, kind of isolated to, uh, oh, let's do Dig Dug. A little isolated to um, SDL and OpenGL. So that means uh, either you got to run this in Linux or um, compile your own version of Windows uh, with SDL and OpenGL support. We will work on getting a, a, a proper version for Windows up and running once all the kinks are worked out in this. Now again, um, your mileage is going to vary depending on which games you try. The simpler the backgrounds, the better. But I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you have any, you know, thoughts or if you get your hands on it, you get to try it. Let me know what you think and um, enjoy.